Kitre and Kisi, we had only one CS in Machogu formerly. And we had only one PS in uh, Raymond Omolo for interior and uh, national security, for whom we had thanked the president. Honorable Speaker, allow me therefore to start by thanking His Excellency the President for ju not just ensuring ethnic and regional balance, but for remembering minorities living within Luonyansa. Honorable Speaker, it is the first time a person from Luonyansa region, not necessarily a Luo, has been nominated to be appointed, if this House approves, as the Cabinet Secretary in charge of Treasury. Honorable Speaker, it is also the first time we are having that ministry and also a person in charge of the energy docket, if approved, from that same region. Yeah, order. Yes, Karole Omondi, service time. To profile the Sudanese people as not necessarily lures. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Karole is a Suba. And Subas are minorities living within Luonyansa. They are not Luos. That is the fact of the matter. And, and, and so let me make that very clear. But I'm thanking the president because that appointment is within Luo region. Honorable Speaker, that in addition to the other nominations and of people whose integrity, whose competence as we have tested in this house, make me very pleased. I also want to thank the president for nominating the former governor for Kakamega County, which was the best in terms of performance of counties, the Honorable Weekly for Paranya and Governor Joe. Honorable Speaker, let me end by thanking, as I thank the President, for appointing the Honorable Murkomen to the Ministry of Sports. You know we forget Kenyans, but this was our best striker in Bunge Football Club, position nine, and I'm not worried at all that he's going to do very well. Honorable Speaker, having said that, let me make a comment on one thing that is very important. Honorable Speaker, the Committee on Appointments is the most powerful committee of this House. It is a committee chaired by none other than the Speaker of the National Assembly, who is the third in ranking in government. Honorable Speaker, when you look at this list, there are people who have been politicians as MPs, as governors, or have been ministers before having undergone vetting, except only three. Honorable Speaker, you may therefore forgive those who never appeared to be well composed before the committee. Honorable Speaker, you know Dr. Barasa is my family doctor. I saw a look at you and, and she was very shaken before the members initially for the first 30 minutes. But you saw how she got composure as the vetting went on. Honorable Speaker, this lady called Stella Soi Langat. This lady served as a divisional officer, assistant county commissioner in my area. This lady served as an assistant commissioner, county commissioner in my area. Let us forgive if she appears before you, the Honorable Speaker, with these serious members, Honorable Ichungu Abrejunet. Let us not judge her on failure to define one word called femicide and, and those others. This lady will deliver. And, and, and therefore, I support this Honorable Speaker, but I'm praying for a rejection or a disapproval of this part and its amendment so that this lady may also be included. Honorable Speaker, in the first parliament, we rejected Phyllis Kandie, and she performed very well. Malonsa, now it is this lady. What is our issue with ladies that every vetting, at least some woman must be rejected? Honorable Speaker, I pray this amendment be made. Otherwise, I'm grateful 